If you want to try the latest OpenELEC TLBB update, then you're going to need to um, boot into recovery and you're also going to need the firmware zip file um, on either a USB stick or an SD card. Make sure you don't extract that file that has to remain in zip format so uh, if you're using a Mac make sure it doesn't auto extract zip files on download. Uh, once in recovery you need to go down to apply update from ext and then as we're using a USB stick we choose UDisk and then just click on the zip file. If you were using the SD card um, you would have chose the other option in there um, not UDisk you chose the SD card option. Now this doesn't take overly long um, it just goes through this little process here of um, installing the firmware and then what we're going to do is once that's actually installed, once that's complete we're going to perform a factory reset just to wipe the data partitions and make sure there's no uh, conflicts going on This is all in um, real time, by the way, so it doesn't take particularly long to do. And you'll find that um, you know when, when the actual proper release version is out, uh, it, it will be uploaded to a proper server, and uh, you should be able to do it from the TLBB menu. Um, so here we go, that's completed. So now we just need to perform a wipe data factory reset, and click on yes and then that will go through the process of uh, just wiping any data so do bear in mind that if you're doing this then you will lose all of your existing settings it will be a completely fresh build um, so if you want to keep your settings make sure that you um, you save them so uh, now we can reboot so now we're rebooting uh, you'll get a screen similar to this come up um, I've cut a little tiny bit of this um, just to speed things up a little bit so um, what you'll find is after this there'd be some text come up and then it'd boot into another uh, sort of menu that takes uh, a minute or two but eventually you'll come up to this screen um, and you can just keep clicking OK you can see in the background that there's a uh, a menu that's the open elect menu and it's sort of conflicting with the existing TLBB startup menu um, so you can OK through that when it's gone you can escape out of that and here you are, you're in um, into OpenELEC and you can see just how fast it is, it's, you know, it works really really well um, and those little glitches you saw on the screen just a minute ago in the um, startup script bit, that's something to do with my video card, it looked fine on the TV um, but something with the resolution my video card didn't like um, yeah so there you go, uh, that's how to get the new version up and um, I'm just going to do a video now of um, showing it in action.